Welcome back to the Core Cars News Tech Lab. Today we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 brand new or very updated Fire TV apps. Now these apps will work on the Fire TV sticks, Fire TV players, pretty much all versions of the Fire TVs. There may be some exceptions. Sometimes a new app won't support an older version right away, but most of these should work on whatever version of the Fire TV you have. Now these are my personal pick. If you have a brand new Fire TV app you want to recommend, leave us a comment, let us know. I'd also put a link to all these apps in the show notes down below so you can download them to your Fire TV. Real quick before we get into it, if you're new here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we're doing. Hopefully we can help you break free from the high costs of cable TV, or maybe just get the most out of your Fire TV. Let's take a look at it. These are in no particular order. Some of them are brand new. Some of them are very updated with some new stuff I wanted to point out. Starting off with, under the new and very updated, the QVC and H Home Shopping Network um, channel. Now they used to have an app on the Fire TV, but it was two separate ones. Now they've combined them into a single one where you can watch all the networks live if you so choose, including some of the lesser known ones like Beauty IQ, which I didn't even know was a channel they offered. And you also get like QVC1, QVC2, HSN1, HSN2, and more. But you can also go down here and say, I want to watch this particular product or this particular video on this. Um, and you can even man it or take a look at the different features here with it. You can sort it by different um, channels and lineups if you want to watch a particular show or information here. So really great feature. I get a lot of questions about QVC and Home Shopping Network. How can we watch it without cable? It's available for free in some markets, but not all, over the air. And it's free on Roku's Fire TVs, Apple TVs, and more. So check that out. All right. Next up is NBC News. Now, I've talked about NBC News in the past, but they've added a cool new feature. Not only do they have on-demand content from NBC News, MSNBC News, um, and the Today Show, but you can also now, during um, the afternoon, they have a, about, I think it's eight hours of live free uh, news coverage exclusive to the NBC News app. So they're kind of trying to compete with CBS News and ABC News' live coverage by launching that. Now I'm recording this in the morning so it's not live right now, but you can still go in here and say, hey, um, I can take a look at the hurricane, I can look at um, politics, we can just go through all kinds of different topics here um, and look at particular ones. And it does will autoplay videos over here when you first start watching. So it's a pretty cool app and now it's one more option to get free live news there. We've covered many other ones in the past, but now you have one more to pick from. The other service I wanna point out that's new is called Friendly. F-R-N-D-L-Y is how they spell it. Friendly TV, um, it is a live TV streaming service. Comes from people who used to work at like CenturyLink and Dish, um, Dish's Sling TV. So these people from the industry who know a lot about it. And it starts at just $5.99 for SD, $7.99 for HD, and you can add a DVR, but it includes things like all the Hallmark channels, the Weather Channel, the Game Show Network, and more. So you get a collection of networks, like the Outdoor Channel is included with this also. It may not be everything you want, but if you're just looking for like Hallmark movies for Christmas, or you're just looking for like the Weather Channel's coverage of the recent hurricane, this will allow you very cheaply, under 10 bucks, taxes those channels live and legally. The 599 version is an SD, the 799 is an HD with a limited DVR. If you want more DVR options, they do have a 999 feature or option on it with even more DVR storage. So a pretty cool um, addition to the live TV services. And what I'm seeing is a growing market of sub $20 TV services. So check it out, Friendly is a great option there. Now available on Roku and Fire TVs. And I think even the Apple TV right now, but I'll need to double check that. Next up is Pluto TV. I recommend this one a lot, but they've added a lot of new channels. So I wanted to throw it out there. If you haven't tried it recently because you kind of were like, oh, I, I don't know if they have anything good. They have recently added, for example, um, the new Pluto TV um, 007, where they're showing a collection of classic um, uh, James Bond movies leading up to the brand new um, James Bond movie coming later this um, year. They have a new NFL channel, or excuse me, the James Bond movie is coming in April of next year. Sorry, 
They have a new NFL channel, which cl shows classic NFL games um, and a ton of other NFL content right here. NFL game replay, the 2011 Saints versus um, at Panthers, and more right here. Fuse TV has been added recently. Other ones like TV biographies, um, the uh, TV land sitcoms, and more are all now available on Pluto TV to name a few of these. So great option, great addition to the uh, Pluto TV lineup here that you get now um, tons of additional movies and TV shows that you didn't get before. All right, let's keep moving along here and taking a look at Fox Sports. You're probably saying, Luke, what's new about Fox Sports? Well, there's now actually two Fox Sports apps. There is Fox Sports and Fox Sports Go. Um, recently, Sinclair purchased the Fox Sports Regional Sports Networks, and now they own um, the Fox Sports Go app. So as you can see with this message right here, um, your local regional teams on the Fox, for like Fox Sports Detroit and more are now available on the Fox Sports Go app. With the Fox Sports app, you're now going to find content from like BTN, Fox, um, FS1, FS2, and more are now included on the Fox Sports app. The Fox Sports Go app is now your regional sports network app. So this is actually a brand new app that was recently added not that long ago, which gives you all this content. And it does mean that content that was in BTN in the past is now in the Fox Sports app. So you're not going to go in here and find BTN network content in the BTN app, but you do get BTN Plus, which is the Big Ten Network subscription service which gives you access to a ton of sporting events on BTN that don't typically air on, or that don't air on the traditional um, BTN channel. So you're not gonna find live coverage of a football game that would have been on BTN by subscribing to BTN Plus. But you will find, you know, here's Rutgers uh, women's volleyball and more, all current will stream on this. And throughout the year, you get other things like field hockey. I think a lot of, um, uh, ice hockey was on here last year, but I'll have to double check that uh, more. But as you can see, to watch BTN Football Live, go to the Fox Sports app. So kind of cool, if you are a Big Ten fan, you can get a ton of additional Big Ten sports, especially if you are a fan of a sport that doesn't typically air on TV. This is one way to watch a lot of that that you would have um, otherwise not been able to get. So check that out, That's um, and remember, again, Fox Sports is now the new home of Fox FS1, FS2, BTN, local Fox channels. Fox Sports Go, the old Fox Sports app, has the Fox Sports regional sports channels. All right, next channel up, or app up, is Tableau Preview. Now, you probably have seen this before. We've talked about Tableau DVRs. You're probably saying, Luke, what's new here? But they actually have a preview app. So they got the Tableau app and a Tableau Preview app. The Preview app, Looks very similar, but this is actually their beta version. This is the version where they test out a lot of the new features um, that are coming to Tableau DVRs on the Fire TV. And it's a great way to say, hey, I want to test this out, see if uh, what the cool new features coming out will be. Now, with this being a preview app, doing beta stuff, you may from time to time find a bug, but I have found it to be extremely stable and extremely reliable. So if you use your Tableau DVR, would highly encourage you to check out the Tableau Preview app on the Fire TV. You'll find it right here, it'll say Preview on it, so keep that in mind. So um, next one up, and again, links to all these in the show notes down below. If you're confused which one's the Preview and which one's the regular, I'll have a link to the Preview app there. Next up is IMDB TV. Now we've talked about this in the past. This is Amazon's free ad-supported movie and TV show app. But they've added a lot of new content and they got a new name since we recommended it last. It used to be called IMDb Free Dive. Was never a fan of that name, to be honest with you. Um, but now it's called IMDb TV, which is a great name for the service. And Amazon just struck a deal with a ton of movie companies to bring even more content slowly to the service. They've really been up in the quality of the content here. Now, of course, you're not finding stuff that aired last night on this, but you do have a collection of Duck Dynasty. I'm not fully sure if I would consider Duck Dynasty a comedy TV show, but that's how they put it. Um, you know, Patriot Games, the movie, Charlotte's Web, and more is in here. And they even have some original content that they've started rolling out, stuff that's aired on IMDb in the past that's now here. 
like Comic-Con coverage was here from San Diego. The IMDb TV show is here now with celebrity interviews and more on this. So check out, check this out. Um, it was reported by the Wall Street Journal recently that Amazon is gonna to try to add live TV feeds similar to what Pluto TV does. So you get these linear channels, which will be live, and you just turn in and find something there. So keep an eye on IMDb TV for new movies, new TV shows. Next up, um, a lot of local TV stations, including some PBS affiliates, have been adding apps to the Fire TV recently. Saw a big rush of them over the last couple months. So if you looked in the past and your local TV station did not have an app for you to watch live your local TV station's news or some of their other programming on your Fire TV, check again because now several of my local TV stations where I live offer them, where in the past there was only one. So make sure to search for the town you live in. Try to search by the call letters if you can. Often I find that these call letters are the best way to find apps for local TV stations. And lastly, the Weather Channel. Now this one's not free, but this does give you a quick 10 minute free preview of the Weather Channel. And if you have a TV provider that includes the Weather Channel, you can use it to log in now and access the Weather Channel's content on your Fire TV. And it also gives you the ability to look at like current weather forecasts from the Weather Channel. Fortunately, it does seem to take a while to load, um, but it, it's a pretty nice addition. Previously, the Weather Channel did not have it. As you see, I got a 10 minute free preview. And if I go up to the top, I can select my weather here. And now I have a my um, feed of my local weather where I can look at upcoming forecasts It'll be a hot day to do any outdoor activities for football tomorrow and more. So it's pretty cool. You can go in your settings, you can add closed captions and more. But if you're a Weather Channel fan, check that out. So a quick recap real quick here. You got the brand new QVC and 8 Home Shopping Network. Both apps now combined into one with new features. NBC News now offering live news streaming exclusively online in the afternoon. Friendly, a paid service which offers things like the Weather Channel, all the Hallmark channels and more starting at $5.99 a month. Pluto TV's added a ton of new channels. Fox Sports Go and Fox Sports have split. So Fox Sports is now um, the home for FS1, FS2, BTN and more. BTN Plus is now your spot where you can subscribe to get non um, or sports that do not air on the Big Ten Network streaming on BTN. Tableau Preview, which is their preview app, giving you early beta access to some of their cool features. IMDB TV, Amazon's ad support service, new name, new content, and rumored to have more features on the way. Your local TV station, again, do some research. I think you'll be surprised to find out what's available in your area. And lastly, the brand new Weather Channel app. You do need a pay TV provider, but it's a pretty cool app that gives you some look at your current weather forecast straight from the Weather Channel on your Fire TV. Well, that's it for today. I hope everybody likes these. I'm hoping something in this list jumped out at you. Maybe something you didn't know about. Something you can try and get the most out of your Fire TV. If you have something you want to suggest, a new Rogue or Fire TV channel, leave us a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you on what you think of these channels and which ones you would recommend. Hope you all have a great day. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll be back tomorrow with more core cutting news, tips, tricks, and how-to guides.